how many of you read the manual when you buy something? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Basically nobody. <laughs> how many of you realize that your car, your vehicle has a manual in it? Have you ever read it? The, let's be honest. The only time you read it is when you get a warning light and you don't know what the warning light is. And so you're like, is this a big enough issue that I got to take it into the shop or can I just let this ride for a couple months? So you flip through the man, you're like, oh, that's just the windshield wiper fluid. I'm good for a couple more months. Let me just put a little piece of tape over that light and I'm good. I, I don't need the man. We don't read the instruction manual. We, we never read the instruction manual. Come on, especially us, us men, we never read it. <laughs> I'm going to figure this out on my own. I'm going I'm to do this on my own. And, and, and what happens is, is, though, is when you begin to operate something before you know how to operate, it usually leads to you breaking it, you misusing it, you tearing it up, it, it not working for as long as it's supposed to work. And what I think we've done with marriage is we, we've gotten into operation before we get any information. Marriage is the only thing that you can really do where you don't have to take a test for it. You don't have to read a book for it. All you have to do is show up to the city, pay your $74 and wait 72 hours and you can get married. You just can't be first cousins. That's the only, that's kind of the only stipulation. Some of you are like, dang it, we're, we're going to pray for you after service. But they don't, they don't, they don't check your background. They don't check your credit. They don't check your GPA. They don't, they, don't check, they don't check anything. It's just you're here, you're breathing, you're alive, you're not intoxicated. Well, you're okay, you're good to go. Well, even if you're a little intoxicated right now, that's why you got to wait 72 hours. I'm not joking. That's the actual law. That's, I marry people all the time. You, you got to wait some time. But we'll get into operation and not have any information how to actually operate a marriage. Let me put it this to you this way. I was, uh, I was thinking about this idea of reading the manual, not reading the manual. And so when I got here this morning, I was like, hey, let me find, I need to find a manual for my, for my illustration. And I started looking around our tech booth and stuff. I said, let me find a manual. And I, and I found this and I almost opened it, but then I realized they didn't even open the manual. So you know that they didn't read it. <laughs> like this is for a very expensive keyboard that we bought and it's amazing, it's incredible, but nobody read the manual. <laughs> You can't even lie that you read it. It's still, it's still sealed. There's even a power cord in here. I was thinking, I was like, how you, you got the false power. You ain't got the real power. Come on, somebody, because I'm just playing. But, but here's a manual, and it even says, important, updated information to ensure optimal performance. Please read this. Nah, I don't need to read. I played the keyboard before. I got this. I, okay, I got it right there. I've driven a car before. Forwards, backwards, shift, mirror. Okay, I'm good. Some of y'all haven't realized yet the turn signal. You haven't gotten to that part in the manual. Y'all forgot that. We're praying for all of you. Uh, but, but, but we don't really know how we're supposed to operate. And the word manual, when you look up the etymology, actually uh, kind of means, if we uh, 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 put it in our modern language, is from the hand of the maker or from the hand of the creator. And so that's why sometimes you'll hear things referred to in kind of a, a, a colloquial way or in a slang way of this is a handbook because it's from the hand of the person who created the program. It's from the hand of the person that created the product. It's from the hand of the engineers who designed the car. And so what they're trying to do is they're trying to give you information before you start operation. They're trying to give you information how to properly operate what they've designed. So what you have to realize before we can get any further into how to fix your marriage or how to prepare your marriage, you have to realize that God is the creator of marriage. The state is not the creator of marriage. Uh, 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 tribes and countries are not the creator of marriage. No, marriage is not something that we do just for a piece of paper. I've heard this so many times as a pastor. Pastor, it's just a piece of paper. It's just, it's just the government. What, what do they have to do with my relationship? No, no, no. Before the government, before any of that, God created marriage. And even further, this isn't my message today, but if you take that a little bit further, God created family. And before even there was a church, before there was a university, before there was a scientific program, before anything else, God created marriage and he created the family. And so the family is supposed to be the building blocks of society. Society is not supposed to dictate how the family is built. I'm going to just leave that right there. So, so. God instituted marriage. He created it so he gets to define it. If you create something, you get to define what it is, how it operates, even if it's not the best. 
there are plenty of people out there who invent products and it could be a better product, but because they're the inventor, because they're the, the creator, they get to dictate how it's done. Maybe, maybe that's a little far off for you. Let's think about a recipe for a moment. Some of you have recipes that you've created or it's, it's your thing. It's what you're known for. And someone else may want to do it a different way. Someone else may think it's better when you add a little bit more of this or take away a little bit of that, but they don't get to dictate it because they're not the creator. So it doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter what their opinion is. The creator gets to dictate how things should operate. And so what we've done, though, is we've now begin to allow people that didn't create marriage, programs that didn't create marriage, philosophies that didn't create marriage to dictate how we operate a marriage. Instead of realizing that God made it, so we need to see what he says about it. There, there, there's a manual. In the back of every manual, uh, there's usually a guarantee or a warranty. But, but the guarantee or the warranty is only valid if you operate the product like the manual said. So you, you can't get mad when the manual says, don't get this device wet, and then you take it to the beach and it gets wet and you get all mad at Apple because your phone's not working anymore. It's not the phone's problem. The phone was fine. The phone was made to operate in a perfect way. And if it was used in that way, it would be fine. But you used it in the wrong way. You used it in a place that it was never meant to be. And so the guarantee that God has given us of marriage being a covenant and keeping marriages together, it's only going to work if you're following the manual that God has given us. It's only going to work if you follow the instructions that God has given us because God is the creator. He's the manufacturer. And we're going to go on this for just a few more moments. He's the manufacturer. He's the creator. Only the original manufacturer is going to honor the warranty. Think about this for a second. When you buy a TV, when you buy a car, you can't take your Ford to the Chevy dealership and say, y'all need to fix my Ford because it's not working right. No, 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 because they didn't make the guarantee. And they may not even have the right tools. They may not even have the right training, the right resources. And so they may not even, they, they maybe can help a little bit. They can maybe say, well, hey, you probably need to fix this part or you probably need to do this change, but we don't really have that part here. You'd have to go somewhere. So what we've done in marriage is we've started to go to people who are not the creator. They're not the manufacturer. And we are expecting people and books and podcasts and TV and all of those things can be so helpful but they're not the manufacturer. So you can't get mad when you're following someone's instructions that are not the manufacturer, not the creator, and it doesn't operate right. 